Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach, and today, as I said in the last video, I will be talking about coolant seals and how to know that a coolant seal is blown. So let's talk about what a coolant seal is. So let me grab my rotor and housing. Alright, so here's my rotor and housing. We don't really need the rotor. So, if you notice around the edges of the housing, we have these jackets, or these holes. See? I can see it through them. They're the holes that go around the housing. Now, coolant flows through here to keep the engine cool. Well, there are these ridges right here that have seals in them because an iron would be here so you can create compression within the rotor and housing. And so to keep that coolant in the jackets, in the jackets and not in the rotor and housing, it has two seals that go around here and around here. Now, what happens is if you don't let your RX-7 warm up or the, the seals just get old or something else happens, what will start happening is that these seals will go bad and they'll start leaking coolant into your rotor and housing, which produces a bunch of white smoke. So I have a video here to demonstrate my friend's FB had a bad coolant seal on the 12A and I think it's pretty easy to tell that uh, it has a coolant seal issue. mean for your engine well it means a rebuild unfortunately because these seals are in the heart of the engine which if you're wondering how the engine goes together I do have a video about that which I will link down below you have to peel away all the other parts of the engine in order to get to this think of this like a piston engines head gasket although it kind of requires a full rebuild and while you're here you might as well do do new apex seals and that sort of thing so that's the basics of it that's what a coolant seal is and if your car is blowing a bunch of white smoke I mean billowing out white smoke you might want to look into the fact that your coolant seals might be shot another way to tell is keep an eye on your coolant or if your coolant gets really muddy um, and by muddy I mean like it turns brown or it gets really gross then that means that also some coolant is getting into your rotor and housing and it's mucking up all the rest of the coolant so that's another way to tell if you open up your coolant reservoir and it's like a brown black any dark non-green color it could be because of your coolant seal well I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video hope you guys learned something about the coolant seals in a rotary engine I hope that your coolant seal isn't blown but if you're watching this might be. But again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys. I, I, I